Beautiful peoples, beautiful peoples. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're checking us out, Rare for a Reason TV. I'm your boy KT Keelan, Four Spoons. It's all the same as still that dude. Uh, appreciate y'all checking me out. I wanted to add this to the front of the video because, to be honest, I've been lazy and had a lot of stuff to do. But part three has been done of this ATL video. What I was trying to do is shout out to my boy GQ. I was trying to uh, add something like the narrating with the video trying something different, uh, you know, writing it out. I'll be doing stuff on the fly, like even it's now, I gotta go to work in a little bit. But I wanted to add something to help, you know, I don't know, push push the video to a, a just a better overall creative feeling when you're looking at it. Cause uh, I mean, I, I take it like really seriously. I, like I, I wanna put out the best overall, I hate to say content, but the best overall video to show what we do when we on these motorcycles, how we hang out, have fun. As you can see, I got another motorcycle. Still got that beautiful thing in the back, but it's dirty right now. I got to clean it. Matter of fact, it has not been cleaned. Let me tell you how bad it is. That thing hasn't been cleaned since Atlanta. I have not cleaned this thing since July. I started up a couple times. I rode a couple times just to keep it moving. But I got this for my birthday, a uh, birthday present for my 45th birthday uh, in August. So. I have not cleaned that thing since then. I gotta do two things to it. One, I gotta drop the fluids, and then I gotta fix the clutch. I have to fix the uh, clutch cable because it got burnt on the primary. So just little things, and getting this done and getting situated how I like it and how I want it to be. Uh, blessings, of course. But being kind of backed up with work, also had a couple of unfortunate situations with some good friends of mine, big brother of mine passed, uh, rest in peace, Zoo. That really hurt. Um, uh, we lost Cato in California. And of course, during the recording in July, right before we went out to Atlanta, which was hard to do, uh, was we lost three brothers from the San Diego chapter. Uh, rest in peace and love and condolences to those uh, loved ones. But it just kind of put me in like a, not, I'll say a slump. Like I said, everybody deals with mental things uh, in their own way. But my main thing is, work, get to have fun on these motorcycles, it helps, you know, therapy, went therapy, as they say, but I just kind of got into a slump because it felt like, uh, not like doing nothing, it's hard to explain, but overall, man, I just, I didn't, wasn't in the mind state to do these videos or even finish them, and all my guys know, especially Slick, uh, always messes with me about, you know, hurry and put the stuff out, I got a lot of content, a lot of content, but put it out, and I just wanted a certain way, even having the logo in the corner, uh, and just, you know, edits and clear uh, cuts and all that stuff. I want to make it look presentable. Um, my worst critics are trying to get the things done besides just recording and putting it out. So that's why I wanted to add this. And also, as you see inside the videos, I'll be able to narrate. Atlanta was a great, great time under the circumstances. Uh, of course, the weather that comes with this. Just being able to hang out, actually ride, get a couple of days off to do nothing but, the, uh, you know, but the motorcycle shit. Also, just been trying to, you know, get back grounded back to you know some kind of place of peace and just relax and chill out and just work do my thing family and ride these motorcycles and kick it with my guys so it's just been a couple of things i've been going through like i just wanted to put this out because it's not like uh for, not forgot about it that, basically what i'm saying is i just wanted to put the best energy into putting these videos out to show that they look good uh i wanted to go to phoenix but again unfortunate situations happen and it messed that whole thing up. Uh, so I just want to get another great ride in and put out the content, show y'all what we do as usual, have fun and do it all over again. So hopefully as uh, the, the year is coming to an end of 2024, I could probably find something else to do or just go somewhere just because and record it. But like, I just really wanted to put this with the front of this uh, part three, this ATL video so y'all can see and also find something new with the name because that's new to me too so as y'all see inside the video nice little narrating shots you know what i'm saying voiceovers uh all that so i just wanted to add that to it man and i appreciate you guys checking this out hopefully i can get you guys some more videos soon or even some of the old videos and kind of mix them in and do a little edits whatever the shorts and all that stuff so again i appreciate you guys checking it out rare for a reason tv i'm your guy kt keelan or spoon it's all the same as to that dude and i'll catch y'all on the next one Rare for a reason, we are back, I don't know, for the third or fourth time again. 
got slick. Got chance. Hold on, get the get the good fit. Now nah, get let them see the back of it too though. Let them see the back of it. See that? This shit is definitely earned, not given, man. We having fun in this motherfucker, man. We, yeah, we about to go meet up with the guys so we can uh go hang out for a little bit, man. So y'all stay tuned. What Dom Kennedy say? Pull up to the front. Damn this shit look like it's jumping. Yeah, pulled up to this uh King's function. They had the Morrow Town Center or Morrow Center, whatever it's called. They had this whole parking lot packed. Parking lot pimping going on. People's playing their music on a bike sliding through. We had pulled off to the side because Slick had a little mishap, but we'll get to that in a minute. But got out, got a couple shots of the guys on the bikes. Shots out to everybody that came through. All love, showing love to everybody, having a good time. Kings had this thing really festivious. If that's even a word, festivious. They had it cracking. They had the food trucks popping parking lot which you can see when we get over here to the front this whole thing was packed i'm talking about like wall to wall you can see everybody out standing dancing you got the food truck to the side look they had the uh what's the joints called the uh the hookahs you know what i'm saying all outside they had everything anything you can think of catfish probably had i know cheerio was there but i know they had the you know what i'm saying the sewing shit cracking off everything was a really good time man so even pulling up with the the bike mishap we still have fun though so i wanted to get a couple shots of everybody enjoying themselves usually playing people dancing you know what i'm saying getting your things handled so yeah as you can see this place is packed 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 i'm gonna walk down that way in a minute right now we gotta i don't know if y'all can hear me we got a oh we got a bike situation we're trying to get something fixed uh, before we continue on with the festivities, gotta make sure my brother is good. So, yeah, uh, I'll check in with y'all in a minute. Got it too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got you. Motherfucker, right. Yes, sir. getting me caught up with youtube and these copyright strikes and infringements and then banning your account nah i'll be working too hard to try and make these things snap you know who slick rick is shout out you know what children's story is shout out should be a part of everybody's upbringing if you was born in the 70s and 80s let's go
Yes, sir. <laughs>
Hey man, watch. Uh, I want to tell you something, Wazzy. Uh, when it comes down to you and Miss Wazzy, yeah. nigga, I check out a whole fucking zip code for y'all, nigga. <laughs> I love it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it.
We want to thank y'all for coming out. We fuck with y'all. The next time, niggas, don't fuck with y'all. That's what's up. Let's make a pop down and do this shit. Hit it up. Bust it on the beat, nigga. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hey, say it again. To show. Can anybody be for it? For a reason, I am signing off. As you can see, all the shit that we had going on in there. Shout out to King to the South. This shit was monumental. Hella deep to see by the videos, all the fun. All the love, all the support, all the likes, all that shit. I appreciate y'all. Keep running that shit up. We'll be, back. we'll be back in the morning, but continue liking this shit, and I'll see you in a minute. stator or battery or both but as soon as we charge it try uh try and jump it and make it run if it stay on for a hot minute we cut right off so it's either short but more than likely it's rectified so we're gonna stay we're gonna stay and uh get it secured and then take it to the harley dealer that's right over there down the street right down the way right over there it's a bar Hey, it ain't for everybody. Look, you can't be scared to break down if you're on the ground. You see that? It ain't for everybody, but it happens. It's part of the process. Trust me, I know. Two motors, <laughs> two motors now, later. Yeah, it's still good though. It's safe. That's why we keep these ESP warranties on this motherfucker to make sure it's situated. We'll get it handled. Uh, we'll get it handled tomorrow after the Harley. It'll be a little bit later, so It'll be another day. But hey, it's all good though. It is what it is. Rare for a reason TV. I appreciate y'all checking it out. You see everything clearing up. That's right. Everything clearing up. You guys getting out of here. Shouts out to the Kings, man. Right? Shouts out to y'all. Atlanta. Man, everybody that came through. Like, much love to y'all, man. Y'all did y'all thing here. Much love. We fuck with y'all heavy. Shout out to my boy Casper. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody here, bro. Uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all checking out the videos, man. We're gonna be back in the morning. We gotta, you know, we're gonna do the whole run out again. But I just like saying that shit, man. I just wanna show love. Because y'all be showing me love and all this shit here. And at the end of the day, that's all it's really about, man. People getting together, having fun, having a fast time that they love. So, we're gonna wait for the tow, bro. We're gonna wait for the uh, Uber. And then we're gonna get to the hotel. And then we're gonna do it all again tomorrow. So, I'll catch y'all in the morning. BC powder, get it going. The Kansas City brothers in the house, man. What's up, man? Yeah. yeah BC powder, Real for reason TV, man. General, new, new, general, right? Yes, sir. General, yeah. Yes, sir. Coming through, man. We finished packing this bike up. Slick's bike uh, is at the shop we left last night, and we're gonna get it to Atlanta Harley, so we can get it rectified. We got our brothers over there trying to get the parts already. So, oh, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Try and get the parts uh, situated now, so by the time we pull up over there, get that shit put on, so we can get it in and out. And then we're gonna see if we're gonna burn off and go, uh, go ahead and get up out of here. But yeah, we keep everything posted, man. But anyway, good morning. Hope everything good with y'all. Pack my bike up and uh, get it pushing. We'll check in with y'all in a minute. Again, yeah, the city and house, yes sir.
Let out Kansas though, man. All love. Yes, sir. You done rolled this motherfucker already. So you gotta keep that same shit because you can't get with no motherfucking fairing in the front. You know what I'm saying? So tell them. You look, you rolled out, now you gotta get back. But tell them you push that motherfucker though, right? Yeah. Yeah, where you come from? Yes, Say that shit again? Yes, okay, out here on the road came with these motherfuckers, man. Told them straight up, look, we gonna ride this motherfucker, get here, show out. And then we gotta, we gotta get it back. See, that's the look, and we gotta get it back. But we gonna get it back though. I'm a breed up, but I'm not a beat though. And listen, <laughs> long as you long as you running with it, that's all that fucking matters. Yeah, they was pushing me a hundred. Be like that sometimes. They do. Yeah. We got to we got to one eleven allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah. If you doing all the crime, you taking a baby drive. Get on this bike. I got Hey, like you said, sometimes sometimes it be like that. You gotta push it. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes you be in a zone. You be doing ninety. You're not even knowing it though. Hey, what's going on? So, no, it was just in the hotel this morning. I mean, because it's three thirty now. Just look at the clock. Uh, yeah. So. We had a mishap last night. Now, I don't think I even recorded last night. That's crazy. No, I did. I did it briefly, did it. Slick had a flat, uh, flat tire. See, look at it. Already gone. Slick had a, uh, a charging problem. His battery wouldn't jump. I think he's at the door. No, uh, his battery wouldn't, uh, or it wouldn't hold a charge. So every time I give it gas, it would cut off. So he waited for a minute. Uh, left it there at the, uh, at the compound where the Kings of the South had a joint at the mall. And then tied it up and got it this morning, right? So took it to the Harley dealer. So I thought it might have been the stator, the rotator. Rotator, Jesus. Thought it might have been the stator or the ro uh, the rotor or the rectifier. All that shit, the whole charging system. This was a battery. Literally, it was a battery. So we dropped it off thinking we might not be able to get out of here until Tuesday. And they actually called it back, so they got it ready now. So anyway, things happen for a reason. So we got to take it all in stride. So again, we can get something to eat now, relax still mostly packed up for the most part and then we can get out of here early monday morning so yeah anyway i give y'all an update because i totally forgot about that shit and we back in another hotel now so yeah about to relax chill out be back in the morning with some other shit rise and shine motherfuckers oh, already outside. yeah good morning beautiful peoples uh it's time to get it it is I don't want to show you that picture on the watch. Uh, it's 821. This one say 825. We about to get out this motherfucker though. Slept good in a bitch. Needed that shit. Obviously get the good light. Get the good light on your boy's face. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, we about to get up out of here, man. Uh, look at that shit. Relax, refresh. I'm about to give me some oats right quick. And then we about to go. So, checking with y'all in a minute. I'm gonna get on this motherfucking ground. And get this shit rolling. Sun out, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Dirty ass bikes, but good morning. Let's pack these motherfuckers up. I just want to see that shit because we've been dealing with nothing but fucking clouds and fucking ugly ass overcast and ugly ass rain. I just didn't say shit. I was like, fuck it, maybe a nigga didn't leave. That shit just didn't sound right. I was like, nah, that nigga know I stayed. We was going to stay before we even picked the bike up. Yeah. Like shit was already what two o'clock. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, about three o'clock. He's like, man, we ain't gonna be no good. Yep. Shut that shit down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so I just I was just sitting at the club. I was like, yeah. it wasn't shit to do. I didn't want to go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at this goddamn 1800 miles. <laughs> and it was like, fuck that. Say that we was about to take off, about my, to need that. but my brother Larock hit us. Said he was still in town too, so we made a quick little turnaround right quick, and we about to burn off and head this motherfucker back west. So yeah, quick little thing. Arizona ain't no ain't no thing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Easy work. Yeah. Well, this year this your third way uh, out here, right? This year. This year, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I definitely been here. Three times, but one of them I had to, I brought my mama, so I was in a car. Okay, okay. But, uh, it just seemed like that, damn, I could just move back to this motherfucker. <laughs>
here drenched in sweat, trying to relax, trying to relax in this freaky, freaky heat. This, this heat is a, uh, ooh wee, how's it going? All right. This heat is ridiculous. You got, you got the clouds that are coming out. We riding a nice little pocket where it's not raining on us, but it brings the humidity and it brings the nasty sweltering, sweltering ass sun. Ugh. Anyway, chilling for a couple minutes. Knocked out about 200 miles. Got a little less than 700 to go. This is the best time that it is when we're on the ground with our bros, sitting there popping our shit, talking our shit, talking about breakdowns, talking about when we got stuck, stranded somewhere, whenever the rain didn't let us make it, drenched everywhere, or the dead ass cold when we plugged in with our uh, cold weather suits or whatever. We're really just enjoying one another's company because we all coming from somewhere, going to somewhere, been from somewhere, and we either meet up on the highway or ride back. This whole ride back from Atlanta was good because we thought we was going to be stranded from a, a maintenance issue, but ended up, you know, getting it out of there at a decent time. But riding back with my brother LaRock at a, a AZ, you know, we got to ride back on the 20, so we got to make it. But it was just fun, man, just getting there, chopping over people, you know, talking about our uh, experiences on the ground. <laughs> bridge across Vicksburg, Mississippi is pretty much the midway point for us trying to get back to Dallas. It's about six hours to the house, give or take, depending on how fast you ride. But once we hit this bridge, we know we're almost to the house. And of course, you gotta have the slow motion cinematic feeling of the rain, because it would not be a ground pound inception without the rain. It just comes with the territory. But you can't be scared to get wet when you out ride. It just is what it is. And of course, we're rare for a reason. And you can't be scared to break down when you're on the ground. Shout out to my big brother Skunk. But you can't be scared to be in the rain. It's just a little bit of training weather. But anyway, riding through uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas too, depending on once you cross uh, in the Shreveport, this weather gonna be stupid. The ground gonna be stupid and the car is gonna be stupid. But you still gotta be safe. But you can't be scared though. Let's go. When people spend their time talking about you, it's often a reflection of their own misery and discontent with their lives. They frequently cite sources to validate their negativity, attempting to justify their focus on your actions rather than addressing their own shortcomings. But here's the truth. Individuals who invest energy into discussing you likely have a habit of criticizing others too. Their behavior is a telltale sign of their inability to find happiness within themselves. So they seek solace and gossiping about others' lives. Remember, their words speak values about their character, not yours. Focus on your journey and let their negativity fuel your determination to succeed. I'm far from perfect, with flaws as deep as anyone's. But one thing I proudly claim is authenticity. I'm unapologetically real and genuine, for I know no other way to be. My imperfections are overshadowed by blessings, vibrant health, a loving family, 
beautiful wife and kids will bring joy beyond measure. I'm grateful to provide for them and savor life's thrills, like the freedom of riding my motorcycle. In this moment, I'm reminded that true wealth lies not in perfection, but in the love, health, and happiness that surrounds me. I am humbly blessed, and that's all I could ever ask for. Embrace your individuality, for you are uniquely crafted. Your feet are tailored to fit only your shoes, and your path is yours alone to walk. Don't squander precious moments pondering the journeys of others. Focus on your stride, your rhythm, and your destination. You are the author of your story. Write it with authenticity. Comparisons are futile. Your experiences, strengths, and beauty are exclusively yours. Celebrate your distinctiveness. And remember, your walk, your way. Your voice, your song. Your life, your masterpiece. Own it. Love it. Live it. This is your boy KT, Keelan, or Spoons. It's all the same. It's still that dude. I appreciate y'all checking out Rare for a Reason TV. And as always, be safe on the ground. I'll catch y'all in traffic.